Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule to these cases. Now, so realize that if we get the indeterminate form 0 over 0 by evaluating the limit of the top and the bottom, and they both go to 0, then what we can do is by using L'Hopital's rule, we know that the limit of the original quotient will be the same as the limit of the quotient of the derivatives of the top and the bottom. So all we have to do is take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom and take the limit of that quotient and see what that gives us. So let's, let's start, okay? So notice that uh, in the first one, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x. Well, at 0, right, so these are continuous, so at 0, this is going to give us 1 minus 1, which is 0, and we get 0 in the denominator, so we get the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as equal to, now I'm going to put a little h over the equal sign as an indication that I'm using L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so by L'Hopital's rule, I'm going to write this as the limit as x approaches 0. Now what's the derivative of the top? The derivative of the top is what? Sine. So I'm going to get sine x over 1. So all I did was I took the derivative of the top, right? So I get negative cosine. The derivative of negative cosine is sine. And then the derivative of x is just 1. So what happens to this as x approaches 0? This is equal to 0. And so the limit of the original, the original limit then, is 0. Okay, now let's do this one. The limit of as x approaches 1 of this function. Well, what happens? As we go to 1, the sine of pi is 0. The natural log of 1 is 0. So again, we get 0 over 0. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule since they're both continuous functions, and I'm going to take the limit as x approaches 1 of the ratio of the derivatives. So the derivative of sine pi x is, now we have to do the chain rule here, be careful. So the derivative of sine is cosine pi x. But then we have to take the derivative of the inside, which is going to be pi. And the derivative of the natural log of x, remember the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay. So now, now we take the limit again. So here, as the limit goes to 1 here, we get cosine of pi. And the cosine of pi is what? Negative 1. Right? Yep. So cosine of pi is negative 1. So we get negative 1, or excuse me, negative pi, rather, over 1. Or excuse me, negative 1. No, no, no. 1. So we get negative pi as our answer. So the limit of the original ratio is negative pi. Okay. Now, what about the next one? So here, again, if we go to infinity, now x is going to infinity. What happens here is x goes to infinity, this is going to 0, so we get 1 minus 1, which is 0, and this bottom here is going to 0 as well. So we get 0 of 0 again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule. I'm going to take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom and take the limit of that ratio. So it's going to be as x approaches infinity. Now, what's the derivative of the top? Well, this goes to 0. What's the derivative of e to the x? Well, it's going to be e to the x, so it's going to be e to the 1 over x times what? The derivative of the inside function, okay? Which is going to be negative 1 over x squared, okay? And then, of course, this 
is just negative 1 over x squared. Okay? And of course, these cancel. And what's the limit as x approaches infinity? 1. Because this becomes e to the 0, right? So let's do that e to the 0, which equals 1. Okay, what about this one here? So as x approaches 0, what's going on here? Well, sine of 0 is 0. x is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. And then, of course, we get 0 in the denominator. So we get 0 over 0. So we have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So now I'm going to, again, I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule. And I'm going to take the derivative of the top and the bottom and take the limit as x approaches 0 of that ratio. So now, this derivative, now again, these are continuous functions, right? So this is going to be cosine x minus 1. Cosine x minus 1 over 2x. Okay, now, as x approaches 0, what do I get? Cosine of 0 is 1. I get 1 over 1 minus 1, and I get 0. I get 0 over 0 again. But look, these are continuous functions, right? So guess what? I can do it again. They're differentiable, right? So as long as it's differentiable, I can keep going. So now let's do it again. By L'Hopital's rule, this should be equal to the limit as x approaches 0. Now I'm going to take the derivative of the top again. Now this time I'm going to get negative sign. And now I'm going to get 2. Now, as x approaches 0, what do I get? I get 0. So the limit of the original, the, or the, the limit to the original problem is 0. Okay, so you can, so D shows you that you can do the L'Hopital's rule, you can apply L'Hopital's rule multiple times in the same problem. Okay? Okay, that's it. Have a great day.